Hello all today. It's going to be a bright and sunny day today. Beautiful day. The time is 6.50 in the morning of Thursday, May the 12th, 2016. Well, this video is just going to explain that video of me in a brown shirt using profile, profane language at Zedig and why that is still online. Because I took it down within a couple of hours of making it. But others took my stuff, or actually follow me, or actually, or actually follow, me, follow me all the time, and kept the video and used it to set me up. This was back in 2000, about 2007, 2008. The days before Gary Burns came into my life. This is back with Henry Collier and a group called Zed Geek. Zed Geek were defaming me big time online. They even had their leader, named Pirate or Tony Buscani, go to court and tell blatant black lies in the courts to get a decision against me with Henry Collier. They're a bunch of troublemakers. Zed Geek have now been taken offline by the authorities because of defaming big people. What we call in Australian terminology, shit stirrers and troublemakers online, a bunch of idiots. I still say that I'm not guilty of vilification. These people told lies, black lies, and made fun of me online about it. During the time when I'd done that stupid video, I was, I didn't do it of my own volition. I was paying another man called Michael. I won't mention his name. He was a friend of mine. Some money to make videos for me. That's when I first started doing videos. I started getting quite good hits. I started getting a lot of good things. I made this video within about two to three hours after making the video. I went back and looked at it again after I had posted online. And suddenly decided, mate, this is not really appropriate. I'm using bad language, this can be used against me. So I took it down and deleted it, got Michael to, to delete it. But, alas, that was too late because YouTube at that time was only in the primitive stages. But still, once it's on, it's on forever if people get hold of it. Others got hold of it, used it and as an attack upon me. So really, I didn't really want to put it up. I put it up through someone else's advice. Suddenly realised I'd done, wrong, I, I, I'd done the wrong thing. The other person realised this as well. We took it down, but once it was on, it was taken by Zed Geek. Zed Geek flipped it and set it around and used it against me. This is the days before Gary, Gary Keane. This is with Henry Collier. Then after Henry Collier died, this blank, this blasted Gary took over and done the same things again. He is also as much a troublemaker, if not worse. So that has been is not my fault. My fault for making it originally and listening to another person. But when I realised I done wrong, I repented of what I did. I got rid of it too late. So what we do now has very severe consequences in the future. So we've got to be very careful what we do for everything we do. This is an eight years difference. It was made in about 2007, 2008. My cases started with Gary in about 2012. My cases started with Henry Collier in 2005. This was from the group of people called Zed Geek, which one of their leaders, Tony Briscani, or pirate nominally named at that time, went up as a witness against me, witnessing lies and perjured himself before the, court, before the tribunals, which was set off the cases which have got going now. Because without Henry Collier, 
doing what he did. This wouldn't be going now. Without Zedgeek backing Henry Collier and having their leader, Pirate, go to court and basically tell Blake black lies about me in front of the court and think it a joke and a stir to put online and rabbit me about in what I call shit stirring is wicked. Also, what they did was they warned a cult called Sinalism and Henry Colley became the Grand Wizard of Sinalism. He put his own face online. He was the person taking me to court. So it was all fraud from the start. I am not guilty of vilification. I've been set up and framed and I'm the consequence of things going wrong years ago. I will never accept it. So that video, if I can find it, I'm going to link it to this one. I'm going to put it with this. Is nothing to do with me doing anything wrong. It's just me expressing my anger at my time at the during the time of 2007-2008 through the advice of the person who was doing the YouTube's, YouTube's for me at that time because I used to do professional YouTube's with a pro professional person who knew how to make proper films. We didn't have what we've got now. We didn't have at those times tablets or little little video cameras you could do at your home. I went to another person's place and done that. So that's all this video is. But please understand this now. If you see it online, I can't take it down because it was stolen, misused, misinterpreted, and used against me years later, eight years later. I took down my copy, the original copy. Thank you very much and bye for now. I've been going for a bit long. I'll just finish this off with, off right now with this. I am not guilty of vilification. I have never vilified homosexuals. I refuse to accept it. I will not accept it. And I will not apologise. I cannot apologise. Because if I apologise, I'm going back on my own words and I'm telling lies. Straight out black lies. Thank you very much and bye for now.